What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Happy Apple Watch and iPhone unveiling day. Apple had a lot to discuss today like they traditionally do around this time of year and a lot of it revolved around the Apple Watch 10 series and also the new iPhone 16 series devices to no surprise. So first impressions on this, let's discuss. So let's start off with AirPods 4 and AirPods 4 with ANC or active noise cancellation, Apple had a good slew of improvements for this latest generation AirPod, and these come at a great price point starting at 129 bucks. That's really actually a great deal considering of all the extra benefits you get from AirPods. They also obviously did, I'm not even gonna call these a second generation AirPods Max, but they did release new colorways, and they finally do come with a USB Type-C port, Finally, lightning seems to be pretty much dead in the water. It took long enough, but here we are. Uh, so AirPods Max, yeah, that's a subtle update for that and kind of said, next. We obviously also did get the Apple Watch Series 10 like we talked about, and obviously not an Ultra 3, but a new black colorway for the Ultra 2. There are a substantial amount of updates here as well for the Apple Watch Series 10. They are a little larger. They do come with bigger casings and the display is larger, like I said. And they do get some of those ultra features with that depth app and some other new apps custom to the watch. They do have new uh, SIP processors. They're meant to be a little bit more uh, powerful and obviously as well can get a little better of a charge in a shorter period of time. Still all day battery life, as they like to say, so I'm very curious to put that through the paces. I think the most exciting aspect of this new Apple Watch Series 10 is that jet black colorway. Finally back to the iPhone 7 days. That had probably one of the best colorways there. It is still aluminum, but it is now shiny black. It looks great. That's the one we pre-ordered. That was another strange piece of this announcement. They didn't wait till Friday for all pre-orders to open. For the AirPods and the new Apple Watches, they were instantly available to order after the actual event ended. With the iPhone 16 series devices, the only things left for Friday. So again, little larger iPhone, or excuse me, Apple Watch, case sizing, larger displays, little brighter, better viewing angles and all that. Again, somewhat of a minor update, but one that should please a lot of people, especially those who actually use an Ultra like ourselves, that don't necessarily need some of these features in a much smaller package with still a great or equal to screen size of the Apple Watch Ultra like Apple compared it to. And then obviously the star of the show is going to be the iPhone 16 series devices. Starting out, we finally have a better colorway here of iPhone 16 devices. They all got a big jump in processing power. They're all using the new A18 chip. They all have the new capture button on the side for photos and videos and some AI features. I guess they're calling it video intelligence coming down the road. It will not be available or active when these phones launch next week. So yeah, we do have all that. I think a lot of people are gonna be happiest about these pro updates and the pricing staying the same and where they are at. Base model, thousand bucks, 128 gigs for the smaller one. They did go up 0.2 millimeters in size and the largest one also did the Pro Max, went to 6.9 inches in size. That's two inches smaller, or excuse me, larger than prior. So yeah. Now, the beauty of this is across the board, better camera improvements. They all have the capture button. Obviously they all have now an action button as well, which is new from the prior generation and a ton of other under the hood improvements, especially thermodynamics. That's finally been improved with the subskeleton on these phones. It should help, especially if you are a game player playing at 120 FPS. This should be a lot cooler of an experience. We've talked about this to no extent. I can't wait to do the first software update on the channel to see how much better that heat disbursement is with these new builds. So yeah, quick overview of what was released. Obviously you have faster charging as well, and including faster MagSafe charging on the pros up to 25 watts with the new MagSafe 2 uh, compatibility discs. Take that for what you want as well, but slew of products, slew of accessories coming out. Fine Woven is finally out the door. 
lasted a year, good riddance, it was pretty terrible. Let us know in the comments down below, what are you most excited about for these models? Obviously, we know we'll be having them in-house here in the near future. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.